still better than Orange is the New Black. Alright, well some of you that's been following my Wentworth series review, you're probably wondering why it took so long to review Season 5. And, uh... <laughs> If any of you seen season five, I think you could probably answer your own question. It is the weak link of the series, but still, I had some enjoyment in it. I did, I did like some things about it, but overall, <clears throat> it was it was mediocre. But I still prefer it over Orange Is the New Black. Now, Wentworth season five picks up where four left off. Uh, spoiler review, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Uh, stop it, watch my other reviews, and then come back to this one. Um, picks up where Season 4 left off at with uh, B getting killed, which is a bold move because killing off the main one of the main characters on the show, or the main character of the show, is a very gutsy move, man, and I respect him for doing that, but it's like, where do you go from here? So to, I guess, to fill the void of B getting taken out, they bring back Frankie. They, had, they find a reason for Frankie to come back to Wentworth. And it's crazy. Every time somebody gets out of Wentworth, somehow they always get sucked back in. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Yeah, so Frankie's back at Wentworth. Ferguson is still uh, doing her thing. Man, okay. Ferguson is the highlight of the season, okay? If you, if you take away Joan Ferguson out of this season, th this, this season would have been some old bullshit, okay? She really brought so much to this, man. I don't know if she's been nominated or got any awards for playing this role. But, dude, she absolutely crushed it once again. And she had a savage moment. She had a moment where she just went pure savage. Remember when they were um they were trying to, like, like beat her up one by one? And one by one, she was taking every one of them out. And I was like, damn, this chick is ruthless, man. She's sitting there bloody to my, who's next? Come on. And I'm like, damn, this bitch is scary, man. Look at here. <sighs> Top TV uh characters of all time in no particular order this is some bullshit i'm about to say tony soprano walter white omar little rick grimes joan ferguson yeah i said it joan ferguson is probably one of the most memorable TV villain slash characters of all time like this chick was just wow and she brings it in this one but it wasn't enough to save this season from being mediocre like I said if it wasn't for seasons one through four this probably wouldn't have been as bad but with with B being taken out and then with characters just this season played as if this show was coming to an end okay B's gone that you take away um that you take away Maxine and then you take away uh, Dory, okay? So you you taking away some some fan favorites, some characters that's been there from the beginning, and they're just gone now. So now you have the Frankie show, Frankie Booms, and um, <clears throat> Frankie Booms and uh, and Ferguson and uh, Vera, okay? Look at to be honest with you, I'm I'm not gonna ramble on and on about this season. Like you know, it, there there were some things I liked about it. Like I like the fact that Vera found love again you know she was able to let herself be loved and to love and then come to find out you know jake was a piece of shit and he just totally just screwed her and that was a heartbreaking scene when she broke down and cried in the elevator but um of all the shit that happened to be honest with you a lot of times i was on my phone i wasn't even really paying attention to a lot of it but the one thing that really did piss me off about this season was when they almost lynched ferguson okay they, they almost lynched her and this would have this would have solved a lot of problems for a lot of the inmates, and especially with Vera. Okay, it's about to go down. She's about to get taken out. Problem solved, and Vera, being the good fucking guy, Vera stops it. She stops it aggressively, as if she really wants to save her life. And I'm like, you've got to be one of the dumbest chicks I've ever seen. Holy shit. I said if, if Vera, if um, if Ferguson ever came back and did something to Vera, I would not be mad about it because she deserved it. Because she should have let her just go. 
that was the main that was the main thing that pissed me off, man. And uh, the fact that it ended like I hate cliffhangers, and this season ended in a cliffhanger. But I can see that even though that they, they buried Ferguson alive, I feel like she's she's not done. Like this chick has more lives than a cat. She's made it through so much shit, so I can't see her getting taken out like that. So I'm gonna give Wentworth season five a C minus. I'm gonna give it a C minus, and I hope they bring it next season. Um, you know, what I'm saying hopefully uh, they spark some life back in the show. I mean, even though they, they try to bring Frankie back in to kind of fill the void of B, but it was enough because even though it was Frankie, it wasn't Frankie. Okay, this Frankie was more serious. She was trying to play a detective almost, and it just wasn't the fun, off the chain, just wild buck ass, wild Frankie that we know from the previous season. What did you guys think of Wentworth Season 5? Are you looking forward to Season 6? I know I am. And yes, Fergus is not dead. She's like Freddy Krueger. You can't kill her. Alright, so y'all, this is Rashad G signing out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.